Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, the 5th of June. I'm James Spann. Got a few scattered storms across the state today. I think a decent part of the weekend will be dry for the northern half of the state, while Tropical Storm Cristobal approaches the Gulf Coast. A lot of things going on here, so let's talk about it. Let's start with the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Got a 588 ridge a little to the west of here, and we've got a northwest flow aloft, and we've got a number of thunderstorm clusters moving down through that flow. One coming through parts of central Alabama. Uh, that did prompt one severe thunderstorm warning near Anniston this afternoon. Another batch of storms coming down through Memphis and north Mississippi. In fact, there's the radar at uh, 226. You can see the two distinct thunderstorm areas, one coming into north Mississippi, one moving through parts of east Alabama. Temperatures all over the board. Birmingham, a rain-cooled 73. The same for Gadsden, but Tuscaloosa, 92. They've had no rain today. Here's a look at the watches and warnings across the southeast United States. First off, that's a severe thunderstorm watch for north Mississippi. Flash flood watches for southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi in the southern part of Florida. And a tropical storm watch in effect for parts of the Louisiana and Mississippi Gulf Coast and the Alabama Gulf Coast as well. And more about the tropics in a moment. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. You can see a number of risks around the country. Uh, in Alabama, there is a marginal risk for about the northern two-thirds of the state. Uh, for these thunderstorm clusters coming down in the northwest flow aloft, the standard slight risk west of here for parts of the Mid-South, including Memphis. Tomorrow, an enhanced risk over South Dakota and some of the adjacent states. And then on day three, again up in the Dakotas, we have an enhanced risk. And on the Gulf Coast, a marginal risk as Cristobal approaches from the south. There could be a few isolated tornadoes or water spouts uh, Sunday afternoon or Sunday night in advance of the tropical system. This is the rain for the next seven days. And again, this is through seven days, uh, suggesting amounts for the northern part of the state, uh, one to one and a half inches. Heavier totals, obviously, near the, near the Gulf Coast. We could see some two to four inch totals on the Alabama Gulf Coast, but it's not going to rain all weekend long. But let's talk about the tropical system. Cristobal looking much better organized now that the center is back over water. Uh, this is a tropical storm with sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. A very large storm in terms of the circulation size. And this is not expected to be a hurricane because of the large size and the fact that there's a lot of dry mid-level air over the Gulf and there's moderate shear. The track has not changed. Uh, the system comes into the Louisiana coast Sunday evening. There's a tropical storm. Uh, and then it moves on up through uh, Arkansas, Missouri, and winds up in Wisconsin, the remnant circulation, Wednesday morning. Uh, this is the earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm force winds because the circulation is large. We could see some winds gusting to 35, 40 miles an hour as early as Saturday night on the Louisiana and Mississippi Gulf Coast, so keep that in mind. Now, we're thinking winds for the Alabama, northwest Florida Gulf Coast, about uh, 20 to 30 with gusts to 40, maybe 45. Uh, the wind is not going to be the big impact here. This is the rain expected uh, with Cristobal, and you can see the darker green for South Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. That's rain amounts between 2 and 4 inches. The heavier totals probably a little to the west over parts of Mississippi and southeast Louisiana, but there could be some minor flooding issues on the Alabama or the Northwest Florida Gulf Coast, but it's not going to rain all weekend long. We, we want to stress that. And uh, this is the tropical storm watch in effect. You can see from uh, the central Louisiana coast over to the uh, Perdido Pass, the Florabama, if you will. So let's go through the modeling on this. This is the GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon at 4. And we've got troughs in the northwest and the northeast and Cristobal coming up in the central gulf. And really for the inland part of Alabama, I just don't think it rains a lot this weekend. Could there be a shower or storm? Yes, but they should be pretty isolated. Uh, partly sunny tomorrow and Sunday. In fact, this is Sunday at 4 o'clock. Cristobal coming up on the coast of Louisiana. Uh, rain confined mainly to the gulf coast region. Uh, we're kind of in that subsidence area, sinking air, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday, the remnant circulation coming up into Arkansas. And we'll have a chance of scattered showers and storms, no doubt about that, on Monday. But it's certainly not going to rain all day. Don't expect any flooding. 
And really Tuesday, the deeper moisture kind of pulls in here. This, the remnant circulation is approaching Chicago. And uh, we might see scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. And Wednesday, a surface boundary approaching. So Tuesday, Wednesday of next week might offer the higher coverage of showers and storms. But even then, it will not be an all-day type rain. Now, Thursday, the front pushes down toward Interstate 59. And can it push all the way through? Uh, I think there's a pretty decent chance it might. The European has said yes. Uh, we think the better chance of showers on Thursday shifting down into South Alabama. And this is a week from today, Friday the 12th, troughing to the north. And again, a pretty dry air mass. So Friday looks dry. Humidity values a bit lower. Highs upper 80s. We'll go out 10 days, Monday the 15th, upper low over the high plains. And that looks pretty quiet around here. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean a little over one inch. And that's not that much for the next 15 days. Highs, low 90s, likely over the weekend, then upper 80s for next week. Lows dropping off in the 60s about a week from now. And again, I like seeing those blue shades on this map. This is the brand new CPC outlook, June 13th through the 19th, suggesting temperatures below average over much of the eastern and southern U.S. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Well, I have notes on the blog. My next video posted here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, a great weekend, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.